welcome back to another Impact Water Products tutorial. Today we will be repairing a 5600 SXT turbine meter. This turbine meter is also used on the 9100 SXT, the 5800 LXT, SXT and XTR2 valves, the 5000 or ProFlow SXT, the 2510 SXT, the 6700 XTR, and many other proprietary valves made by Fleck for other companies. While we don't recommend the use of power tools, I am using them in this video. Please use extreme caution if you're going to use a power tool to remove the meter. I do highly recommend the use of a 4-in-1 screwdriver. Simply remove the bypass, meter cable, and the meter. Be very safe while doing this procedure. Be sure to depressurize the water and bypass the system prior to removing any of the screws or clips. As you can see in the video, the turbine has a retainer that holds the internal turbine in place. Technically speaking, this is not a serviceable part. Using extreme caution, this part can be serviced but likely voids the factory warranty. Use extreme care when removing the turbine retainer. I use a small pair of channel locks as shown if you make any marks, grooves, or divots in the plastic, the meter should be disposed of and replaced. Remove the turbine and inspect the two magnets on the turbine assembly. It is common for these to be fouled up with little bits of iron and debris. Clean the turbine magnets and the turbine housing. Pay special attention to the turbine post holes. If these show any signs of wear, the turbine assembly will need to be replaced also notice that there is an o-ring inside of this housing. Make sure it is seated correctly and if necessary the o-ring should be re-lubricated with an appropriate o-ring lubricant. Reinstall the turbine impeller into the meter housing and reinstall the impeller cage. Make sure that the turbine spins freely inside of the meter assembly once this is completed. Tighten the impeller retainer with a pair of channel locks making sure not to mar the plastic in any way. Do not over tighten the impeller retainer and make sure the impeller spins freely once this is complete. Clean and relubricate the four o-rings or replace them. Now reinstall the meter cable, meter turbine and bypass assembly back onto the valve. Pay special attention to the clips that hold the bypass meter and valve together as they are keyed and do lock into position. Use extreme caution when reinstalling these if they are installed incorrectly water damage is likely to occur. Once everything is reassembled, it's time to repressurize the system carefully and check for leaks. Once again, power tools should not be used while doing this service. A 4-in-1 is a much better choice. Thanks for watching this tutorial on how to rebuild a 5600 SXT turbine meter. Check back often for more tutorials and informational videos.